Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, or maybe even just video, in the Metro mod for Heart of Iron 4, in which we are playing as everyone's favorite, fourth, um, German government with a big daddy. But welcome to the Metro mod. Uh, so Metro mod, currently the mod is in the early alpha stage of development. As of the initial release, it's being worked on by a single developer, so just gonna keep that in mind if we see bugs, issues, and stuff like that. So there'll be more updates as time goes on. So, and that's from the Metro Genesis dev team. Thank you very much. And we're starting with terror campaigns, because I don't want to do any inner reforms, which really sucks. But we do have the fourth group here, which hurts our non-core manpower, but terror campaigns. The, the government has enemies existing within the very tunnels we occupy. We cannot give them a moment of rest while they undermine us. So we can proclaim unity here, which wouldn't be too bad. Get more daily arm XP. I don't get more political power if possible, so power to the group, maybe. Occupation cost goes down, which I don't really understand. Um, I won't get extra political power, that'd be really good. Political advisor cost goes down. Daily, more daily political power is really good, though. But army leader cost goes down. Hmm. Well, we do get this. We lose a lot of stability, but now we get quite a bit more. Hmm. Lose stability, building slots. Power to, to the gas. Hey! Poe! The creation of a secret police force will allow us to root out tractors and the um, I am Puri. Very cool. Uh, I just want the extra political power. High command cost goes down. Political power cost. But better starting level of logistics and, uh, and army leader as well. Uh, you know, I still want to get comp competently political. Politics are too often complex to undermine operations. The group is per perfect for giving difficult personalities some encouragement. Because we can use more political power. We'll get our own faction eventually. We can ration food from our weekly stability. Rat catcher, it's not bad. Uh, rouse the people and then gets more weekly war support, which would be pretty nice. So let's do that one. Uh, and there's, there's a way to reclaim the tunnels and stations here. We need at least two supplies in a stockpile, so we gotta make some sort of supplies. Uh, I guess we're making a lot of guns. Handheld mini guns. Ooh, ooh, supplies. As well as hand carts. Uh, let's go down to that one. Let's make sure we get all that going at the same time, something like that maybe. We get some better spec op stuff too, maybe. And what else we got here? Special forces capacity multiplier. Grab some of that as well. After this one, uh, escape with the mutants. Proclaim unity. Our enemies seek to exploit any fractures within our people. We must, in a sense, instill a sense of national pride and purpose to remain united in our fight. That looks pretty good. More political power, more uh, war support. What do we have over here? Director of the SIPO. Oh, more political power would be really good. Uh, propaganda. That's uh, okay. Well, that's not bad. You lose a lot of recruit population factor, though. But only for plus 0 .05 army XP. Uh, this would be better to do. And Galaiter Volkov. It's just Wolf. Hmm. More 10% more political power. 10% more political power. Do we have any? We have no occupied territories. Uh, either one of these two, really. Uh, let's go with Galaiter first, and then we'll grab someone. Oh wait. Oh that. Oh okay. So you can't get any sort of extra army XP. Hey, Drish. Hans. Ooh, that's not bad. That's actually really good Gatling stuff. Vagrants in the tunnels. Oh, that'd be really good to get as well. This, this is a guy we want. Former paramilitary. That's the one we definitely want. Noises are heard coming from deep inside the tunnels. Right on the borders of our territory. The sound of incomprehensible muttering and voices which appear to sound human. A team sent to investigate discovers a sound coming from a band of vagrants skulking in a maintenance hall to the side of the tunnel. There they've established a rudimentary camp. With only the belongings on their back as their spite. Some of the members wield rather crude, however, sophisticated hand weapons made from scrap. They speak in an unfamiliar language, yet strangely greeted your team with open arms. As communication between your vagrants was established using gestures and sign language, you discover they originated from the southern metro. They lived from place to place, uh, never stopping. Headed by the patriarch, who had recently passed following an encounter with a frightful demon, they now find themselves leaderless and wish to settle down. Let them join. Despite being foreigners, they appear to be well meaning folk. We open our doors to them as friends. Our citizens will come first, unfortunately. The influx of an unknown alien group may make our own populace grow in easy. Yeah, turn them away. Grab that and manufacturing, yes, please. Anything else here? Not bad. Um, how many more? Oh, we need quite a, quite a few more guns, probably. Uh, first division. I'm supplies gonna be really bad here, so yeah, it's not gonna be very good overall. New commander, actually, because we did that one, commander cash go down slightly, right? Philip Kaiser, Kruger. And then we're going to need a field marshal as well, so. Let me try and have everyone else train if you can. Scrap. I do want to get more stability, though. Uh -uh. 
I'm gonna lose consumer goods or research speed. Research speed. I still want to build stuff. I want more Slavic unity. Crane would be good to get. Nice. Establish the Ministry of Culture. Well, that'd be pretty good to do. Our very culture and ideals are at risk from outside influences. We must protect our very way of life. Standing force. We would need to get to mandatory service eventually, too. Um, yeah. If it's only plus point zero five, we're theorists. Oh, this is even better. Land doctrine research speed. Land doctrine cost goes down. Plus point one army XP every single day. That's better than this, and that you know, helps with the cost. Um. Oh, we. Oh, we have two. Two things here. Okay. Industrial engineer. Technician. Factory apple plus five percent. Not bad. Reliability, okay, and then yeah, all this stuff. Damage garrisons, encryption, decryption would be really good for a combat. So, uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to choose here, but let's go with this guy. It just makes more sense to get this guy start working on our army XP. And cost goes down anyways for land auction, which you can just improve with um, one of these guys as well. So, envelop cultural institutions, Russia for Russians. Oh, what is this? Explosives, explosive support. Stock stack, more breakthrough, production costs. Grenade launcher, sure, why not? It's a little bit ahead of time right there. Reconnaissance, log oh, logistics probably. Do that as well for now. Are we still mobile? Oh, we are not mobilizing. That's fine. Ration food. Even more stability would be pretty nice. I want to wait because we already have four. I want to double up on this. Land auction cost goes down. I mean, that just makes sense to do. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. Regain and report is pretty good, but... Ooh, it's pretty good, too, but still. Even better, land auction cost. Quota personality. Um, weekly manpower plus two. You know what? We probably want that. Russia for Russians. Russia rightfully belongs to the true Russians, nobody else. Their people form the very core of the Reich. They should be proud. And they promote families. Families form an important part of home life. From soldiers in our armies to workers in our factories, our population must grow if we are to succeed in, in our expansions. Pretty much. Not going to do that, city. We're not missing anything. We could use some fuel, but other than that, we're doing pretty well. Station Blabbler. A strange man is started right in the middle of the station. While well, CS office work duties, he'll stand, perch on top of an old soapbox, and rant about the most amusing of topics. From fringe beliefs about how Eurasia will unite and humanity must dig down to reach the legendary below kingdom of Agatha. To more humorous topics, such as the notion that the Metro was in fact built by intelligent gnomes in the 4th century who used the Metro system to hide and store their absurd amounts of kvass. While Georgians sit and listen to his insane babbles, many of our citizens deject him. They find his rant somewhat amusing, a tinfoil wearing, but rather harmless old man. Take him out. Harmless. He doesn't give him much of an excuse to rant and rave about nonsensical topics, spending his time scaring the children with false tales. Give him a boot up to the butt and tell him to go his own way. Or let him stay. He's a harmless old man. And brings in a comical effort to the daily lives of the station's citizens, although he knows too much about the metro gnomes for his own good. Dictatorialism. We're despots. Community. Council. Oligarch. Despots. Dictatorialism. Is that it? Is that ours? Yeah, it is. So that's fine. Okay, not bad. Even more daily army XP. Oh, so we have all of them done. Oh, attack expert. Supply uh... consumption goes down, which is pretty darn decent actually. We have no one for that, so damage of garrisons wouldn't be bad. Even more political power would be pretty nice too. You know what? Let's do it. Check to the Sipo. And they'll probably get this guy. More daily army XP right there is pretty good, so yeah. This guy's next. Smithing, huh? Well, put please, thank you, sir. And special forces. A little bit ahead of time. Rail vehicles, oh, why not? Mmm. What's your speed? Bulwark against Bolshevism. Infrastructures. Lots of infrastructures. Uh, mallets against Marxism. And the way the Metro mucked. And now it requires capable leaders and proper industrial support of it to fight effectively. More breakthrough would be nice. More stability would be pretty good too. But bringing all cultural sources under our influence, we can ensure that the right messages are spreading through our tunnels. Uh, pretty much. Alright, let's get a new commander here. Wilfred Schmitz. Good. Sehr gut. Wilfred. Very good. Train. And let's do... Let's do that one. I want more stability and war sport. So how can we reclaim tunnels? So we need two supplies. How, how, how can we make supplies? Supplies. We're missing two. Supplies are right here. It takes a while to make them, I guess. 
Give him more army XP, please. More, 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 more. Weekly map, our growth is not much, but I'll take whatever we can grab. Which is six ones, very nice. Get some research speed. It's almost 2029. 20, yeah. Mo proving our existing infrastructure network to allow us to move supplies and troops more quickly to the front lines, which would be very good. Mutant labor, mutant purging. Nice. Anything else down here? Hans. Oh, we can go to Street of Warp. Well, let's go there, right? Build slightly faster. Might as well, right? Propaganda. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad to do. Still. And encourage industrial revitalization. Many of our factories need refreshing and repair, diverting resources and efforts towards improving them will yield better results in industrial performance. Oh, okay. oh. oh wow. Overwhelm doctrine, balance doctrine, elite. Both are cheap lies or not. Spirit tactics, discipline troops, and deadly efficiencies key to success. Elite doctrine, soft attack, more recon. Planning speed, max planning factor, planning speed, division experience gain. More organization, reinforce rate. Um, these two sides versus this side. Soft attack, heart attack goes up. More breakthrough versus division attrition goes down. Less supply consumption, which I do like. More max planning. Would you rather breakthrough or attrition? I think I'd rather have breakthrough. Alright, interesting. It's a very interesting way. Balanced speed. Entrenchment or supply consumption. Ooh, that's not bad. Reconnaissance and then more soft attack. Army regain, recovery rate, recruitable rec population plus 10%. Wow. Conventional doctrine, conventional doctrine. More breakthrough soft attack. Division organization plus 10. That's not bad. Plus 10% more division organization. That seems really good. An overwhelm doctrine. This is just all about numbers. Supply consumption goes down. Um. I kind of like the middle one the most, in all honesty. You get even... Ooh, you get more population. You get a lot more population. I'm going to go with elites, because... I think that might be the way that we would really see ourselves going. So... If we can make some of that, would be great. It's 2029, 20, so... Get more up maybe? All right, what else can we do? Hans. Metro mocked? Yes. I'm going to start doing that stuff there. No one there. I better get all these guys anyway, so. Um, support equipment. Can more factory output, maybe? Yeah, let's get some more factory output. It's always worth it. Always worth it. Metro mocked. Nice. Real vehicles, resource efficiency gain, inaugurate the new blood. Right hand of the party, not bad. Tunnel restoration. Some of the tunnels are in poor condition, and the navigating them can be treacherous. We should make these safer to use to avoid injuries and accidents other people. I think this is the only nation that actually has a unique focus tree, so I could be wrong about that, but I don't know. Technician, you know, let's go to that guy. Jumpstart the forges. There are some old forges laying dormant. Why let them go to waste? So let's let us get them fixed and firing once more. Ooh, pretty much. Might as well. How are we building? Not bad. Firearms production. Two off maps factories. We could use that immediately. Firearm production. Maintaining a steady supply of armaments to our soldiers is critical in protecting, but also expanding our frontiers. Pretty much. Civilian production. Logistical networks. Pool technical talent. By bringing in our greatest industrial minds together, we can improve our construction methods and technologies. Construction speed. Nice. Forces, support companies. Oh. Oh! Nail grenades, breakthrough soft attack, soft attack, heart attack. Oh, whoops. Oh, miniguns. Flamethrowers. Oh, I should have there's more here. Shotgun. Duplets? Well, let's take a look. So, the B gun, the duplets. These have more defense, these have more soft attack, and less piercing, more breakthrough. Duplets are better than these other guns. It's slightly more expensive, but I'm going to go with this one. Leg infantry reliability. Leg infantry breakthrough. Station blabber. Strange man started riding in the middle of the station. Yeah, read about this one again if you want to, but we're going to go with this guy. Hey, free stability. I'll take it. I would like to make some rail carts, though. 
Firearms production is very good. Recon Company 1s, come over here and grab some of that too. Research or weapons? Ah, we're going to be using that a whole bunch though. Mass industrialization. Fine tuning of production methods and applying them on a mass scale allows to streamline the manufacturing industry. So, 16 combat width. Special forces might not be bad. Making them 20 combat width might be a bit much. Honestly, 18 combat width is probably where we at want it, but, you know, at this point, I'm not really sure. So, more planning speed or planning. Division speed and planning speed. I have rather max planning. <clears throat> war foundries. The Reich War machine is fueled by soldiers and steel. The creation of more munitions and factors will ensure that we can wage war and protect ourselves. Yay. Barbed wire. Oh, and take all foes. Restricting movement and making it difficult to advance towards a position. Reduces incoming attacks by 5% for every barbed wire built. It's like a, it's like a mini fort. So supplies are really bad down here, huh? Oh, it takes about a month. That's not bad. We could probably do that. War foundries. Yeah, I definitely want war foundries. Need some more stuff, I guess. All right, war foundries, and then labor districts. We can organize the workers in a localized fashion by clearing out old spaces for workshops and factories. Creating a nearby housing district means I can get to work quickly. So can we do this? Yes, we can. Or go over here. Failed, failed. That's not worth very much right here. Who is this? The Mithrovskaya Alliance, huh? Which they don't have unique have, do not have unique focus tree. Let's try this one. Do we get it? Probably not. Alright, so what else do we have here? I would like handheld miniguns. That's very nice. Support equipment. Uh, supplies would be good, but I'll go with that. No. There you go, just in case. Go with Hans first. That's fine. Anything else? A tire? Oh, yeah. Labor districts encourage civilian production. By supporting local businesses, we can help them expand and grow, helping them to contribute more to our economy. Dupe that, sir. Oh wow! Now we definitely need more resources. Oh boy. Through fuel storage. Hey, Dorish. Why not? Expeditionary team failed. Oh gosh, darn it. The expeditionary team has returned. I'll be with their tails between their legs. They are not successful in exploring and reclaim what we hope for them to achieve. They did our give a brief description of their counters. The ghastly silence, and then the resounding and thunderous sounds of the screams bellowing all throughout the tunnels. A blood curling screech which reverberated all across the walls and ceilings before suddenly more ghastly sounds. The irregular and broken staccato of hundreds of misshapen footsteps scurrying towards the team, preparing themselves as a squad brace for impact. But this was not enough. The means quickly enveloped the team. Waves crashed against a bulwark and up before long ammo supplies were quickly dried. Even before those hideous beasts ceased pouring from the dingy abyss. It was more than a miracle that at least some of them made it back in one piece, however. It was more than just mutants they saw in those tunnels, whatever they were. The team were reluctant to give them descriptions. But they trembled and quaked to collect these horrifying moments. Okay. Just say okay. So now we have no supplies, huh? That sucks. Uh, we are missing quite a few things here now, which sucks. Um, components. Well then, industrial leaps. It's not bad. I don't really have to do that. Bulwark against Bolshevism. Cold personality. I guess we do that one. For third, communism is right on the boards. We must forward a fire to lines to so sure we can defend our tunnels. Should so they attack? And then we'll do some Laban Drum. I love the Laban Drum portion. Almost two political power days really nice, actually. Try that one. Scan for electronics. Laban Drown. Must prepare a con for the expansion of the lands if people need to space to grow. Oh, we'll get a war economy anyways. Well, that sucks. I didn't realize that. Alright, over here, and I'll grab you two. Oh, we have rail carts? Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Motorized battalion? They do have armor, so. 
Piercing is 3.3, and these guys can't really pierce, so using that will be basically our tank division would be really nice. Experience gain, experience soldiers' losses, improved gas masks. Oh, yes, please. Happy 2030, everybody. And then move into Barikad. Barikadnaya. Barikadnaya station is rich with materials while only being a short distance from our borders. We should lay claim to it. Hey, they finally returned successful. Thank goodness. A messenger's return from our expeditionary team. The squad has completed this mission in scouting out the area. They've already begun construction of basic perimeter defenses. After purging the staff from any immune infestations, it should all be clear for an inhabitation once again. Wow, we get a core. Even though it's only 10 people there. Nice. Good job, guys. Hey, at least we got it. At least it's something. So we need some chemicals, scrap, and alloys. Chemicals, scrap, and alloys. Levin's realm. Maybe that one might as well. How strong are they? Do they have anything on their divisions? Because I don't. I don't want to attack. Attack. Like I want them to attack us. What in stocks would be nice though. Robotnik. Yes. What is Mayakoskaya Station? Mayak. Oh, we get that one free anyways? Oh. That's kind of nice. Large scale storage containers, nice. Very cool. So a little bit ahead of time. 2030. Special forces. Rail cars. Actually, you guys are the ones right here. Give, give me back this thing. Whee! It goes so fast. Because the mod moves really fast, so. Alright. Expanding our domain, red line. Oh, we should have scouted clear of Maya Skolvakaya station to bring it within our control. Can we actually win here? Do we have any spare anything? Supplies? Support equipment? Explosives? A recon team, huh? Gatling support, five each. Explosive support. Oh, oh wow, what the heck happened here? Why did they have to wait for everything to be put into here? Holy crap. That's very scary. <laughs> like everything we left. Um, you know what, just in case, before we go to war, let's let's see what we can do. They immediately start attacking us, huh? Or we'll see, steel hammers. Nice. Uh, can't do anything there. Anything over here? Not really too much. Maybe down here. Get some good army XP, maybe. Urban assault specialists. Very good. Colonize it, yes. Now the station's secure, we can begin moving people into the area. Cool. Try it. Rat catcher, say. As long as they can't win against us. We've lost 3 versus 22, which is not bad. Yeah, they're really beating themselves up here. Mm, I don't know if we've got enough equipment for that, so... Oh, look at this. Expansion of Polis Outskirts. Polis is to our south. We must expand to their outskirts. This provides a useful platform to attack and defend from, as well as much needed resources. Okay. And then... Oh, that's true. We get attack and defense. Organization regain. Honestly, we're pretty good in that. I want to attack. Stoats? Stoats. I have to be peace for that one. That's fine. Eubonic? Botrick? I'm sort of running out of things to research here. Oh, they fell. God dang it, you stupid team. We need more resources. Holy crap. Holy smack. More organization, hand crank mechanisms, nice. Very good, so far. Inaugurate the new blood. Paramilitary knowledge. We have many veterans of the rule before amongst our ranks. Their experience will be invaluable to our military. There you go. Leave us. Leave us be. Stock support. Grab some of that. Grab some of this. Three losses versus 104. Way more explosives are needed. Anything else here? You try that. Um, so yeah, just more scrap than chemicals. Yeah. 
scrap. Oh, fair military knowledge, not bad. War to redefine the development of new tactics and battle plans will serve as well in our fight against our enemies. Pretty much. So now you want more less so lightly less supply consumption. Go with the lead doctrine. That'd be nice. Are they out of men, equipment, guns? No, they have enough manpower. They must be out of equipment though. Can you guys actually win here? We sent half the team over here. Yeah, nice. Five barrel assembly. Where we defined the right hand of the party. We must maintain discipline in ranks at all costs. Anything less than perfect will not be tolerated. That's fine for now to throw them in there. And then get more max planning speed and stuff like that. So we have no one there, nothing there. We go to mandatory service, but don't really need to. Ration food, weekly stability would go up. Complete war support, scrap, and alloys. Because we can. We'll just do all that stuff because we can as well. Oh, this guy's loading a lot. It's going to be a trickster as well, which is pretty decent. We'll get higher minimum training level, which is okay for now. I would maybe like to try out some special forces eventually. Kind of cool. Anything over here? Go with the expert. That'd be good. Be offensive as well. Nice. Ooh, they're doing force defense. Right hand of the party. Very cool. No longer the new blood. Every man should play his part in the fight for the Fourth Reich. Expanded conscription will give more men a chance to, to contribute. Logistics 2 is not bad. How are we doing for supplies? We're doing actually well, very well in supplies. Support equipment's looking kind of weak, though. Explosives are okay. They're on there, too. Might as well. Recon twos. Recon three is heavy. Send half these guys back. Supplies are kind of an issue right now. Bad supply. Very not good. I want to send you back there too. Let them attack us first. New blood, not bad. Crimson campaign. Our current campaigns are showing signs of wearing off. If we want to bolster ranks, we must invest in new war material. Get out of here, too. Ooh, they start losing here, maybe? How about you force defense? Because they're forcing the attack, so we force defense. It's going to be extremely bloody. This whole supply system kind of sucks, though. Gyro stabilizers. Um, breakthrough, soft attack. Way more breakthrough. Soft attack, hard attack. I expect those grenades, probably. Um, they can keep doing that if they want. They're, they're literally going to lose all their men if they do that, though. All we got to do is wait for this one to get done. It is level 4. Not really going to defense, but that's okay. A conscript the common folk. Well, their tunnel's under threat. There's an immediate need to expand our manpower. The common folk will be drafted into service. Just going to give it a little more time. We'll get there. April 30th. Give it about a week, and we'll be fine. And throw more divisions into here as well. Ah, there we go. That's better. Come on back, guys. Come on back. We need way more guns, though. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Let's do all this if it's fine. Topside expeditions. While dangerous and hostile, the service still holds massive amounts of resources. Organized scavenging teams would be an excellent way to gather them for the Reich. Have them keep attacking us. Rouse people. Um, and get more stability because you can. Scavenge electronics, scavenge scrap. By refining our scrapping processes, we can get more resources from each item we scrap. Parts we cannot process before are now of use to us. Alright, more attacking defense. Yeah, sign us up. More real HP. They still like to attack us. We lost 44 versus 384, which is pretty decent. Alright. right. 
Scavenge electronics. Our expedition teams from the service routinely find all electronic devices. We can turn these into useful parts. Which is pretty useful. Rouse of people. It's fine. Stalker teams. Our stalker teams consistently find or constantly find new improvements for production lines on the surface. You guys actually win here? Come on, and we should be there. Nice. So we can buy a slight bit, that's fine. Oh, we have bikes. Oh, that's cool. Soccer teams. Tools, nice. Good, 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 good. Top side tactics. Our stalker teams are extremely vigilant on the surface and are masters of reconnaissance, information is power, and can tip the balance of combat in our favor. And of course, toll, nice. Powered cart. Very cool. The goal would be to really just cut these guys off. So go in right there and send half you guys there too. If you can. And hopefully we can win the war just by doing that. Do not let them in. Do not let them move. There they go. Now they're completely cut off. Seven. Ten divisions cut off. Very good. Beautiful. Force it. Don't let them kill us off. If they want to force a fence, then we have ways of making them talk. Group gear, top side tactics. Everyone, the Lista Confederation has surrendered. Influential figures within the Lista Confederation have announced their surrender today. They'll be seeing all territory we've got occupied to us, along with agreeing to a permanent peace deal. They'll give us greater control of the central parts of the Metro. A great day for the Reich. Also, they're still over here. Oh, that sucks. Do an oversight. Um. Ooh. Gearsons. There you go. Now I gotta get rid of this stuff. God dang it. Uh, oh, the rail cars too. So this is the Garrison's one, so we should probably don't want to use all the special equipment for a lot of stuff. There you go. You definitely don't return stuff to them. 8% compliance. How's it going up so much so fast? Glitters in the dark. One of the tunnel guardsmen who swears he sees something shine in the darkness. Every rotation when he returns back to the station, he spots a shimmer from beyond the tunnel on one of the old maintenance path sides. He's unable to investigate said tunnel since it's been boarded up, with only a slight glimpse to see through. The tunnel question was boarded up years ago due to mutant incursions deep in the tunnel. The man stands by his gun, saying that it isn't a trick of lighter's imagination. There's something down there he wishes to investigate. Remove the barricade. Something lost, something found. The wooden barricades were pried open and revealed what was behind. Beyond the absolute void lay nothing. A preliminary search held on to no account of the glimmers, and the search was about to be cut off until the bouncing light of one of the flashlights revealed a sparkling in the distance. A beam of light directed towards the glimmers revealed the soldiers speaking the truth. In fact, what lay beyond was nothing. Political power? Plus 50, maybe? Yep, I was correct. It'd be political power. Not bad. Stuff I will gladly take for us. Bounce it out slightly more, and we're looking pretty good overall. Now we've got to make sure we, got, we can deal with the reds. That's really the next main goal. I'll have you guys just kind of hang out here for now. So everyone else needs a train. That was pretty decent. I like it. It's fun. Scavenge industrial machinery. A surface expedition really, really discovered a huge factory nearby and reported some machinery that could be salvaged. Really boost their industrial efforts. Cool. Happy 32. Motorized battalions. Um, rail cars. does give you actually more armor and more piercing, but lowers your organization. More defense, real carts. And hurts your speech ever so slightly. I think I'm 16 combo with, we'll see. Advanced army drills, that's pretty good. Stuff like that too is pretty decent as well. Alright. Improve gear. By improving the quality of our clothing, we can ensure that our people will deal with the harsh conditions of the tunnels and surface much better than before. Add in the fourth arm to the Reich. Alexandrovsky Sad should now be recognized as one of our stations now that's within our reach. 
Så här det. Tunnel, 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 tunnel. Maja ska jag göra vad? Vad är det vi har på den här? Vingers in the tunnels. Remember about that, please go ahead. A lot of tunnels. Powered carts. Rail carts, organization, max speed reliability. That's fine with us doing that one. Roof gear. Nice. Maybe we'll use them, maybe we won't, we'll see. That's fine, go right there. Supplies could use a little bit of a boost too, which is fine, 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 fine with us. Glitters in the dark. Try that, means in the tunnel. The wooden barricades were pried open to reveal what lay beyond. Beyond the absolute void, it lay nothing than a hundred tiny beady white eyes were piercing the darkness. There was a reason why the tunnel was closed. Today, we received a grim reminder of why so. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Uh, I could use more stability, honestly. Yeah. Get a lot more stability. We got enough political power. Hopefully, uh, stuff here too, so. Power tools? Cool. Power tools, tools are very, very uh, nice. Uh, Expanding the, the Troyob Naya station. The station does not provide only bountiful resources, but is an excellent joint place to secure fronts against the red line. Powerful tools, powerful tools, nice. Three, two, three, two. It's Polis. Rangers of the Order. Ah, up here. Right, so they're over there. Are we connected to them at all through that? Not really, no. Um, I should do that, and then get both these ones done first. That'd be good. Expanding our domain. The red line holds many tunnels and areas near our own. We must strike them into submission. We'll purge the communist gun. That is good. Just need more guns. We've got plenty of supplies, though. Nice. We just need more chemicals, of course. Scrap tanks. Interesting. Because we can. Oh. Well, that'd be good to do. Barakanya Kor. We've held the station long enough to proclaim as part of our territory movement our people into it. We expect casualties as we root out insurgents from the previous owners, but they will be swiftly dealt with. Three more cores, you lose 50 population, two more infrastructure. It's pretty decent. I'd say that's worth getting. Form a military committee. Research. Uh, I'd rather form a military committee. Uh, military committee allows us to evaluate our tactics across the force, meaning we can produce optimal strategies against our enemies. Then again, what is Army XP going to do for us now? So, maybe strategy metro firearms. Tunnels are home to some creative yet deadly inventions. We should acquire what we can do to improve our own firearms. Yes. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. They're just waiting for infantry and support equipment. That's it. Do we have enough explosives? Good hospitals would be pretty nice, though. We definitely don't have enough of them, though. Rail carts. Chemicals. Station blabber. Yes. Bangers in the tunnels. Nope. Uh, heavy soccer teams. Soccer heavy teams. Heavily equipped soccer is a better situated to deal with the hostilities of the surface as well as reinforcing weak ones. We can venture further out. Can we go out this direction? Can you keep these guys in place maybe? Recon 4 is pretty decent. So far, pretty easy. Um, city rail vehicles. We're surrounded by trains of rail vehicles of the old world. There are elected things to learn from investigating them. Ooh. Go and hold for now. Ooh, that's not good. I'm gonna hold out, son. It's an order. You are by far not allowed to disobey orders, so. 
Supply is just really bad around here. Alright. Oh, they are forcing defense, though, so... It's fine. Fine, leave. Ah, lost a couple divisions, so be it. Hold as best you can. Did we lose that? Oh, we lose that part, huh? Retreat for now, it's fine. How are they winning so well against us? Enforce defense. Screw it. I don't care if the divisions die or not at this point. Yeah, they're doing very, 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 very well against us. Actually, if you have any more stuff over here, it'd be good to use, but whatever. Actually, you got level six. Oh, nothing over there. That sucks. Yeah, we lost the real cards. I don't understand this now. Yeah, we've lost a lot of divisions to these guys. I don't understand this at all. Hold, ding dong, hold. Jesus Christ, you ding dongs. Uh, proof of combat here. We recently discovered military location blueprints on manufacturing high quality armor. This will enhance the survivability of our soldiers. Come on, morons, attack us. We've got plenty enough manpower and reserve. Begin with panzer production. The panzer strikes fear in the hearts of our enemies. This machine will bring death to all that oppose us. Durable chassis, huh? And now they're not even trying to attack. What the heck? I don't understand this. How much manpower do you have? Or equipment? You're going to continue attacking. And defending. The Fist of the Fuhrer. Forge and Reich Steel are rail cards have improved to be more effective against enemy, enemy infantry and armor. Rail Panzers? We duplicate this? Update a Panzer Division? Or just add one on? Try that. You're not allowed to lose. You're seriously not allowed to lose. I'd rather have you die. Why are you losing? Force the attack. We've lost a lot. This is a very costly war for us. But it's going to be extraordinarily costly war for them by the time we're done with them. This is the Fuhrer. Improved weapon designs. Making our weapons more reliable decrease the chances of them breaking during battle. Our service expeditions also benefit as improved designs make field maintenance easier. Break them. Just break them. There you go. Let's surrender. Influential figures within the Alliance have announced their surrender today. We'll be, they'll be ceding all territories to occupy to us, along with the Green and Permanent Peace Deal. Give us greater control of the essential parts of the Metro. This was a terrible, terrible fight. That was absolutely terrible. Would not recommend. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. So for these guys, I want everyone else to train for now. No plans, of course, but that's fine, whatever. And now, scrap tanks. Real bikes, scrap tanks. Well, I guess we need that one then. Chemicals. Alright, tribute to Corp. Through a Naya belongs to us. The local populace will likely resist, but they will learn to cooperate with an iron fist. Um, you have supply, yes. Yes. Um, 
VSKs versus Tihars. Uh, more piercing on this one. More breakthrough on this one. More liability. Yes, guys. What if we were to attack them? Oh, wait. What happened to... Memorable tension. Did, can we get the... Ready to go to war with them? Reimburse the stockpile. Ensuring our armor is sufficiently stocked makes our supplying troops less of a worry. We cannot hold our lines. We do not have the tools to defend them. Mallet against Marxism. We can create an elite division of soldiers by taking the best from the cross of forces and combining them into a single entity. We must be ready to crush the Marxists. Station Blabber. Tihar. Which I remember reading that in Metro. Logistical networks. Reorganizing and resisting logistics to depots, we can make better use of the limited space we have. Very nice. Mounts against Marxism. Industrial leaps. We've recently came across the new ways of constructing munitions factories. I'll surely show the time it takes to build them. This is a very good thing. What type of divisions are these? 20. Yeah, it's not terrible. I'd rather have you guys be like this, though. Recon, get on support. You cannot send and hit the squad, huh? Oh, we need to be a war of the red line. Code of personality. Under the supreme leadership of the Fuhrer, we'll prosper. Hail the Reich. Pretty easy. Honestly, since we can't even go to war with them, world tension's not that high, so we're just going to cheat. So I think that should be changed maybe in the future, but that's just my opinion, so. Now we're just gonna hang out here. I'm gonna attack us. Improved body armor, nice. More breakthrough, yes. Good. 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 Really, really stacking a couple of bodies there. Scapegoat the mutants. These abominations are not only blood on the tunnels, but they are also threat everywhere at way of life. How can we tell the existence of such impurity? Oh hello. Ah, uh, now we're losing here. Um, why don't you guys down here? Eh, you know what? Hang and hold out. Hang and hold out. No, uh, you're a better general overall, so I'm gonna just have you switch generals. Night Vision 2s. They don't what how are you losing? They have a lot of divisions. And that's a lot of divisions. Holy crap. Guys, why are you down there? Oh, supply is so bad down there. How are you losing? Oh my god. The enemy's cheating. They've got to be cheating. Why, 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 are they, why are we doing so badly down here? I don't understand. You're going to force the F in defense. All right, this is ridiculous. They're cheating. The enemy is cheating here. Yeah, no, they're definitely cheating or something. How? 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 How, for the love of god, are they winning here? Reinforced defense. Oh, they're forcing the attack on all these attacks. Yeah, this is the case. I'm going to do some funky stuff because this is completely unfair. Mutant labor. For many mutants, the right capture the sweet and breath of days. death is not enough. We can put them to work doing our bidding. As manpower must be siphoned off to a military force, so there may be such usage for these vile freaks because we did establish labor corps. Labor camps are not our only effective way to separate our enemies from the people. All this force the very enemies to contribute to our cause, whether they like it or not, let's eradicate the impure. Such impurity are surrounds the very tunnels around us. These abominations are a of humanity must be cleansed. Construct our tunnels. Ooh, about armaments. Let's go with well, armaments. We need more armaments. Fight a faction. Organized crime. Screw it. Yeah, heck yeah. Where are they? Mm, oh, they're all the way down there. Oh, well, that's not that's all, that's it. Okay, well, whatever. We always still need all the materials, I guess. So, sure, guys, help us out. Why not? And send in the hit squads. By sending in small incursions into enemy territory, we can disrupt the alliance and undermine their war efforts. Manpower is not really ever an issue too much, but yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't know why the enemy is cheating so hard. I had to delete enemy divisions. Like, they have, like, literally six times as many divisions we have, which is kind of stupid. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have gone to war when we don't have enough guns, but still. Like, they just attack and they just instantly win, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, suffer from attrition, you piece of garbage. Jesus Christ, a bunch of enemy cheaters. Maybe I should play as Redline. They seem kind of over overpowered completely, so. 
Go to the Metro. Nice. Send some hit squads. Nice. Why do they stop attacking, huh? Bunch of cheaters. Propaganda education. Children in the future, it's up to us to ensure they get the right education for the very start. They'll carry our legacy forward. Do you do anything about that? Can you win here? Can you eradicate these pieces of garbage? Bunch of cheaters. Now, this, this faction is definitely overpowered. Support equipment, machine guns. I don't want to even try to attack here. Force it. I don't care at this point. Like, it doesn't make any sense how the strong they can be. Um, makes no sense to me. But whatever. Who am I? Just a guy on the internet. Oh, did they leave? Good. Kill them all off. Piece of garbage cheaters. Which forces me to cheat in the game. So, definitely unbalanced, but, you know, whatever. Hopefully that'll be fixed in the future. How far deep? Oh my god, we gotta go really deep, don't we? Real deep. Go to scalpels right there, so. Force it. Keep going on in if you can. Took the first capital. What about the second capital? Nice. Where? Communist man. Not even once. AI yeah, likes to cheat with the commies. Uh, can we get this down? Uh, maybe. I'll try it. Field hospitals, we want more field hospitals. Ah, they failed, of course they would. Try that one. How, how do you lose against these guys? I swear to God. The AI is just seriously cheating. Or just the Reds. They just love the Reds so much. Thank you, guys. So, is that the end of their... Oh, can we get military access? Come on, guys. That's dumb. We can't even finish this? Well, I guess it makes sense. Very kind of left-wing bias, but that's okay. But whatever. Um, I think that's it for us. There's nothing else we can do here. We can't finish off the war, which does really, really flip and suck. But other than that, there's some slight just issues with like, just trying to be balanced at the end with the red line. Let me go try, out, try to take them out next time. Maybe if they try to take them out the first time, maybe it'll be e easier to take out. But overall... I think we've done really well. Uh, we have ownership of what we really need ownership of. We can't go back to, can't finish off the wars, which is not fun. But like it's, like the mod said at the beginning, um, it's all about, it's all in the first early stages, early alpha stages of being developed. So we'll have plenty of time in the future for this to get worked on. And we'll come back to this, specifically this nation with the Fourth Reich in the future. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.